the project for us uh, really wanted to focus on um, making links with the primary schools mm -hmm. so that we had a nice transition for them coming up. We also wanted to um, make sure that the science was interesting but with a focus on skills as well. So the forensics project was really good for that because the practical work that they were doing and the problem solving activities alongside that uh, were really useful in developing those skills in young people. Mm -hmm. So it was really invaluable with that. It also allowed us as professionals to work together in the primary school and develop our skills as well in using technologies such as Go that we hadn't done before. So um, it was definitely beneficial in terms of that for the pupils, for the staff and to make links with the primary. My name is Michael. Uh, my favourite thing war was watching the witness video. My name is Nicholas and I found out that there were on my finger. My name's Callum and I learned the, the different types of the fingertips. My name's TJ and I learned about all the different like, kinds of teeth we got. My name's Hannah and I learned how to complete an investigation. My name's Teague and I learned about fingerprints. My name's Sarah and I learned about the difference between animal hair and human hair. My name is Alex and I learned um, to not judge people by their cover. My name is Ryan and I learned you can me find out someone's height by the length of their feet. My name is David and I learned, well, um, I learned about all the different types of hair. My name is James and I learned about how blood splatters can be different from a different height and angle. Well, and the thing oh, that I learned out of this project is the different blood spatters, like the different heights and that that you learned. Uh, I'm Henry MacDonald and I learned about the blood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name's Dylan Island, I had looks on my fingers. Yeah, I'm not great. Uh, I'm Kate and I learned um, that there's a hardcore animal here. Little bits of blood. We tried a little experiment of our own. And we measured the size of blood splatter from the different heights and angles. And we thought it was either dog's hair or cat's hair. We, we found human hair as well. We looked through the microscope and the animal hair had a solid core through the middle. And the human hair had no solid core through the middle. It's Daniel and Kay here. We found out that there are lots of different types of fingerprints. Yeah, there was a whirl, a loop and an arch. At the scene of the crime, there were fingerprints on the shattered glass, which were Danielle's. Also, there was blood on the floor from the fingers. We found out that every person has a different fingerprint on each of the fingers. I'm Dylan. We had to take fingerprints. We pressed out our thumbs into blue ink, then rolled out our thumbs on paper to show our uh, fingerprints. You can have loops, whirls, and arches. Every fing finger is different. And did you find out anything when you were doing the fingerprints? Uh, I have loops on my fingers. Hi, James. Hi, David. I just want to know how can we use teeth marks to help solve the crime? A piece of chewing gum was found at the crime scene, so you can find find out what type of teeth she or he took the painting. Oh yeah, I remember. We took our own teeth patterns and only the three molars out of the incisors, canines, and molars were left. Watch the clip. Write things down, the kind of thing, and, and then we watched it again. We watched it twice. So it was really fun to find out who it was. Some people did take it seriously and try to find their age and realise they faked their age. Our teacher told us to look for body language and all three of them were witnesses were nervous. I am Ryan. Danielle's age did not match up to what she said in her statement, so I thought it was hard that it stole the data. My name is Alex and I'm from BHS. Eric Burton was the prime suspect for a little while. He was roaming around for 20 minutes when he could have stole the painting. Danielle had a cut on her finger due to the broken glass. We found blood spot and blood on the glass. We figured out this out by dropping blood from a certain height. I was the first to notice the plaster on Danielle's finger. Yeah, they're very good and, very, and and by that point they were so into it, you know, they thought everything was real and because they, they had wonderful stories about why this person was here and why that yeah. might have been that and you had to kind of bring them back. What's the science that tells you that that is the case? Yeah. 
and it generated lots of really interesting discussions, especially the the, the prison, you know, previous, yeah. you know, yeah. and there was quite a few of them jumped straight away and were like, well, why, why, why do you think that? And is that fair to mm-hmm. think that? And yeah. I think it's always difficult when you're starting to use a new technology and there's always some glitches. But I do think that the pupils actually enjoyed what they were doing. They liked using the internet interface and they also liked using the Google Meet. They certainly felt that that was a very useful tool that they had. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they could actually see each other in the other schools Mm -hmm. meant an awful lot to them. It made it more real, I think. Yeah, I think they took it all more seriously. Their findings that they to to use what they had found was important that they fed back to find their conclusions. Mm-hmm. And I think also working alongside the scientists, where they could ask that additional help and information, and they found that really useful. It seems to, especially from looking at the discussions area on Glow, seems to have actually involved most of the kids. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. been right the way across the class there has been engagement and the pupils have enjoyed it. Hi it's Danielle again. I enjoyed everything overall especially investigating investigating all the different things like the fingerprints and the footprints, the teeth, the hair and doing the practical work was like really fun like doing the blood spatter and everything. I really enjoyed it. It's Kay again. I the things I enjoyed about this project was really everything: the footprints, the fingerprints, the blood splatters, the teeth marks. And what do you what did you enjoy about this um, forensic project? I enjoyed the mathematical part because I like maths and the glow meet. I enjoyed trying to find the suspects because it was funny as we were like, oh, it's Eric, but then when we found out it was Daniel, some were like, oh, and then some were like, really? I thought it was Eric because he had a criminal record and had been in jail. The application of it all was very, very worthwhile for them as well, so they got an idea of how science isn't just within the classroom, but mm-hmm. it's used in a real world um, context. Definitely, and with some of the pupils coming back and saying that they're so interested in the forensic side of it that that's maybe what they want to do in the future, I think it has had a real impact on the kids. Uh, Henry and Don, how, um, what did you think about this project? So good that honestly it was excellent, it was classic. Mr. Piona, um, you helped us on this um, project. How did you feel about it? Well, I thought that you all did very well. You got lots of different resources. And I think you enjoyed doing the glow meet as well, didn't you? Yeah. Then if we were to carry it forward, we did it with one feeder primary. Mm. And what we could possibly do is, is assign a class to a pri- primary so that when we came to do the glow meet... Be knocked down the numbers. It would be nice to get some form of scientist in there as well, you know, mm-hmm. just because they did find that valuable. I mean, I think we we will adapt it and use it, and it has been good in terms of learning what we needed to do. Mm-hmm. And there certainly was enough there. I think there's always that fear as a teacher yeah. that you're not doing it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and mm-hmm. having gone through the process and realised, you know, it is meant to be open to everyone to create mm-hmm. it differently and do your different things. And the primary did, they had the opportunity mm-hmm. to go off and do uh, literacy and mm-hmm. art projects yeah. associated with it, whereas we didn't quite have that. But possibly in the future we would try to make mm-hmm. it more interdisciplinary as well yeah. amongst departments and have it, you know, so it wasn't just science. That Science would maybe be the lead, but we would pull bits in from other yeah. areas. Well. I, I think it's got the potential to be an absolutely fantastic cross-curricular mm-hmm. curriculum for excellence project mm-hmm. because it could pull in, as you say, so many different mm-hmm. areas. Yeah.